Hey everyone, this is Jack with Average Consumer where we try to answer two questions. Is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? And this week we're going to be talking about a very popular add-on or upgrade to the Cost Porter Pros. And in fact, if you do a search for Cost Porter Pros, you might see this as one of the search items and, and that is uh, Yaxi Pads. And I know it's kind of silly or strange to be doing a full-on video regarding a piece of foam but uh, I'm going to make the argument that this might be something you want to consider. Um, and um, what makes this doubly strange to me anyway is that you're talking about a set of headphones that typically runs a person, you know, anywhere from $30 to $50 on up depending on the model. And uh, these, uh, a set of, a pair of these typically cost around $12. If you look on Amazon, that's what they sell for. Um, and to put that additional money into an inexpensive set of headphones, you might be wondering why, why would I do that? Or is it even worth it? Um, and, uh, as spoiler alert, uh, yeah, they are worth it. And in fact, I, I like Yaxi pads so much that I've gone as far as putting them on a pair of the KPHI cost headphones and the K my modification of the KSC 75s. And, and I'll have the links to, to reviews on those headphones as well. I'm going to say right off the bat right now is that I don't get the same sound benefits on the KPH30Is and the KSC75s as I do, in my opinion, as I do on the Cost Porter Pros, but uh, we'll get into that. The biggest benefit here is the comfort. And I have the old pad here as well as as a comparison and uh, you can see there is a pretty significant size difference uh, this way and uh, I don't know if it, it's kind of hard to see that way but um, there's a pretty significant difference there in fact when you have these on your head I mean they they I have fairly I have do have smaller ears but they cover my entire ear um, versus these smaller pads. So comfort is a big, big difference. And in fact, I found the Cos Porter Pros fairly uncomfortable until I put these pads on, uh, particularly on, uh, on the top here where it would touch my head. But, but thanks to the Cos, the, the Axi pads, uh, it, it's kind of relieved the pressure on the top and uh, frankly on the sides. The downside when it comes to comfort is that if you do become, if you've relied on the temple pads, the uh, cause the axi pads do push the driver away from your head further so that the temple pad does not touch the side of your temple as much or at least not for me which is not a big deal because of the pad size is so big so much bigger it uh, really makes makes a significant difference and you can see there the difference of the of the axi pad uh, versus the standard standard pad. So I did mention that they that does change the sound of the Porter Pros a little bit. And I'm not going to say it's a huge difference, but it's a noticeable difference, at least for me. And it's made, uh, strangely enough, I, I find that a lot of people prefer the sound of the KPH30i over the Cos Porter Pros. The, the bass is maybe a little bit more controlled. I find that with the Yaxi pads, it does alter these enough that I, I I keep pulling these out as my preferred go-to headphones over the KPH30Is. Um, and I think it has to do with the size of the pads. Um, it is kind of pushed the driver away from your ear a little bit, giving it a little bit more air. Um, so I, the Cost Porter Pros, everybody knows that they're a very warm set of headphones for sound. Um, the loose, the base is a bit loose and there's a lot of complaints on that regarding the loose base. It's not very controlled. It's kind of bloomy. So it kind of interferes with the, the mids and even the treble the, and the treble is quite recessed. Well, with the Yaxi pads, um, I think it does let some additional sound through and that's probably an obvious ex reason for the change. But I also think that because of the extra space, 
it kind of quells the bass a little bit and opens up the treble a little bit. So it kind of evens things out a little bit more for me, uh, causing uh, slightly more of that V shape that I'm looking for. You know, just a just a little bit more sparkle in the treble, and and kind of reduce the the bass just a little bit. Um, so uh, if you do have a set of Porta Pros, I I really can't think of a better a, a better upgrade than going to the Yaxi pads in these in this scenario. The KPH 30Is, um, frankly, have a very rough uh, pad when it comes out of the box, and I found it, them quite uncomfortable, especially for long periods. In fact, I could probably only stand having those on my head for maybe an hour at the most uh, before they just frankly would get uncomfortable. With the Yaxi pads there, it is kind of a hassle to put them on. Um, you can probably find a tutorial online somewhere to get it done uh, because you will ruin the old pad when you take them off. There's just no avoiding it. Uh, but when you put them back on, put them on, uh, that is enough comfort level because of the cushion and how soft the Yaxi pads are. Uh, now I can wear those for much longer uh, listening periods and they, they're they just far more comfortable. Um, and then I may, I did do the red and blue on, on that, so I thought that looked kind of neat. And then the, the KSC 75, I didn't really see a sound benefit there, but I'm dealing with a KSC 75 that I did do the Kramer mod on and I will try to link to that mod and the review of that mod in to my video of that uh, here but I didn't really see a, much of a benefit there as well uh, outside of the fact that I liked the orange color and they looked even more retro than they already did so uh, that being said um, is it worth your time and is it worth your money on the Yaxi pad I'm going to say yes to both uh, because I would be a hypocrite saying otherwise since I've done it three times now on three different sets of headphones and uh, I won't be going back. Well, I appreciate your time. I hope this helped you in some way. If so, um, this is I'm a fairly small channel, a very small channel and and a like and a subscription really goes a long way when it comes to the uh, YouTube and its algorithm. So I'd, cons I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel and uh, I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.